Hello you guys. Today I'm going to tell you how to get on to RC Racing on a budget. Boom! An automatic switch around. So I'm going to tell you guys about the most expensive one first. Ah, that was weird. The Traxxas slash four-wheel drive brushed. This one retails at about $300. Brush version, high CG chassis, nothing in here. Just the base model, I like to call it. Base model Ford, whatever. Anyway, this one does have quite a bit of upgrades, but not as much as my two-wheel drive modified slash two-wheel drive. This thing, I'm getting ready to run it. Yes, I'm getting ready to run it in um, four-wheel drive modified truck horse truck at the Florida RC Championships in Tallahassee, Florida. Round three, this will be my third. My third time going to uh, an event that's actually sponsored. No, fourth time. Um, I've been to two J Concept Super Cups, the one in 2020, the one in 2021. Then I've been to the some some race at Callahan. I forget it what forget what it was. March Mayhem. That's what it was. It was a good race. I won some stuff there. Yeah. Anyway, so with this with this car, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Your standard Traxxas car, four wheel drive. Just like, there's a bunch of models of the four-wheel drive that you can buy. There's, uh, I wish they made a buggy. There's a monster truck, there's a stadium truck, and then there's the Slash. They really need to make a buggy. That would be really fun. Anyway, these are not the tires that I run, by the way. I run Proline Hole Shots. They're in there. They're pin-type tires. Same thing I run on that. But this thing's a four-wheel drive. I would recommend, if you have the extra money, go for the Traxxas Slash 4x4. If you go for a two-wheel drive, it's going to be harder to drive. If you go for a four-wheel drive, you have extra traction up front. So no matter if you don't have traction in the rear, you have traction up front because you have the extra drive shafts, diffs, and the center drive shaft. Very useful. On the two-wheel drive, you only have rear wheel, pop, rear wheel power, which means rear wheel braking, which means if you go up in the air and you slam on brakes, normally in a four-wheel drive, your car will go like that. This one will probably go like that. There's a big difference between two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. How much power there is, how much traction there is. So, again, everybody likes to hate on Traxxas drive shafts. They're actually not that bad. Okay, sue me. They're not that bad. Um, some people will say, mine broke on the first drive. No, they probably didn't. You were probably being dumb and drove it off your house or whatever. Or pro drove it off the Eiffel Tower. Um, the Traxxas, these Traxxas drive shafts held up just fine. I have never replaced these once in my life. They are completely fine. They have just a little bit of slop in it, though. So, you might need aluminum ones, but these are perfectly fine if you're not done with it. Uh, these are the Traxxas GTR, just the fronts, because the front... Alright, everyone, again, with the drive shafts, there's nothing wrong. The problem is the shock shafts. The shock shafts, when you're in a race, they can bend... They come in pretty easily, too, if you're a novice and there's people hitting you. I mean, it's not really their fault. They don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing, but, yeah. It's not really that bad. It's just the shocks get bent, pretty much. You need to replace them every once in a while. Like, I think these shocks, the old shocks I had on these, they bent, it, they bent three times. So that's why me and my dad went with the upgraded GTR shocks. Thanks, Dad, for buying these. These are actually heavy shock fluid. I would recommend you put a lighter shock fluid. This one's about 45 weight. I would recommend you put about 35 weight. I know it's a big difference, but it does increase your traction. A stand-up shock configuration, because I race outdoor. Kind of obvious. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the front end, besides the RPMA arms. They're pretty cool. For the steering rack. Ah, hard to get up. If this thing's about 4 pounds. It is not that heavy. You have the just stock, the, even the stock servo. This is the servo that comes with it. it does not come with the 2075, the upgraded servo. But it's a pretty good steering rack if you don't drive too hard. If you drive, if you steer a lot on your track, then you're going to need to replace the plastic bushings with probably metal bearings. I would definitely recommend you do that. It's a worthy, worthy upgrade. It'll increase, your, it'll increase um, the speed of your steering. I have an aluminum drive shaft that's not stock. I installed that. It was about $10. Uh, this thing is an integrated servo saver. It's pretty nice. I wish they would have the option to take that out, though. Um, yeah. There's, that's pretty much all stock. Even we have, the, even the high CG chassis. I would recommend you get the LCG, but the LCG is about $70. So back in here, we just, I would, I'm trying to save up right now for a, um, 
center differential, which are very useful in not stripping out the gears. It equals, it makes the power the same from the rear to the front. Ow. Come on. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. My gear ratio is on this pinion 16 tooth and on the spur 54 tooth. Pretty high gear ratio, but you're going to need it. Here is a brushless system. Uh, it's the Reedy. It's decently cheap. I don't know. My dad gave me it. Thanks, Dad. It's not a very high KV, but it's alright. I have the extra heat sink I just found. Uh, the ESC that goes through it, it's come with that. It's just a rip off of a hobby wing. TQ, Trax TQ, again, servo. Battery, the battery that I like to use is a Power Hobby 2 cell. That's pretty much it. The aluminum shock shafts, and that's pretty much it, actually. On the four-wheel drive, you do not need much. I would say this build probably, and you don't even really need these if you're not going to drive hard. I'd say the build, not even including that, because you can run with the brush system all day long, as long as you're racing a novice. I would say you can get this thing for about $500, $400, depending on where it goes. Main areas of spendage would probably be, you don't even really need the arms. You'd probably just be the battery, definitely. Batteries can cost like $60. And just some random aluminum bits and upgrades. You don't really need to brush the system unless you're um, running in actual real classes instead of novice. Now time for a bit cheaper one. You can find for cheaper. And this one is modified a lot because I race it a lot more competitively than my Slash. That Slash is just beginning again. Yeah. Again, cheap rip-off hobby wing brush system. Whatever. Uh, cheap rip-off hobby wing motor. This is a very expensive transmission, $120. It's the Proline Protrac 32 pitch HD transmission. I think I said that right. It's a good transmission. It's a three gear and has a sealed aluminum diff. Very good. You want sealed aluminum diffs because they can hold oil instead of crappy grease. You want oil because it'll be a bit more smooth. And then another thing this thing has, I did saw off the front of the bumper. Um, it has the etched Proline aluminum mount mo motor mounting plate, which is rock solid, and it cools off the motor, which is exactly what you want. My gear ration here, believe it or not, I believe it's um, 17, 17, and 54. It's really, really fast. Uh, you probably do not need that much power. Um, you definitely don't, but I really hate switching between gear ratios, so I have a decent one for um, big outdoor tracks and small outdoor tracks. I do not race this thing indoors. I race it outdoors, hence the root thing. If you're racing indoors, I would not recommend you get this kit because it has a rear-mounted shot, rear-mounted thing. Even for carpet, I would recommend you get something else with a bigger forward weight for carpet or a bigger, uh, right there. Anyway, that was weird. Stock TQ, I'm hoping to put in a Chinese Sanwa. Uh, I do have the radio. I I run it my buggy. I just need a better receiver. Ooh, actually, press that. Uh, 2075 servo with aluminum um, bell cranks with aluminum bearings. You don't really need that, but just in case, it's nice to have it. Um, I have upgraded wheel hexes. They're aluminum. You you can remove them with a 1.5 um, millimeter screw. I took this part off just for weight. Um, it's actually pretty light. For a slash, I mean, just saying. This chassis right here is not stock. It comes with 3.5 inch chassis and stock, which is extremely high. It's like right up here. Um, this one is a, is a, um, about 2.5 inches up off the ground. It's the low CG chassis. It keeps everything low. It keeps everything down. It keeps all your CG center of gravity low, so you can have better time cornering and a bit more speed. That's pretty much it for this one. Oh, wait, aluminum that. This... These rear shocks are kind of stiff. I would recommend you get softer ones. These are kind of stiff, too. These are not stock. These are linear rates. You want linear rates as long as they're a bit soft. So, yeah. Those are TLR wheel axes, by the way. Those are just associated. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Now, that begs the question. Oh, wait, that's my body for my two-wheel drive. Uh, I got the bump spot at J Concept Supercut. Anyway, that begs the question. Which one should you get? If you are more experienced, um, if you want it really cheap, but you are very experienced, or just, you know, if you're getting back into the hobby, I would recommend, and it's an outdoor track, I would recommend you get 
the Traxxas slash two-wheel drive. It's a good car. It can need a couple improvements like the low CG chassis, but it doesn't really need all the extra bits and pieces. But you do need tires. I would say a good set of tires will set you back about $40, and the chassis is about $35, so 40 plus 40 is 80, minus 5, it's 75, plus this kit base model is like 180, 180 plus 75, I'm just going to round that up to 200, about $275, minus 20 bucks, so that's pretty good. Also, all the stuff that I included that I removed, you can not, you can just remove that, it's completely free, I dremeled the bumper out, but if you are racing indoor or if you are racing outdoor and you have like zero experience racing maybe even bashing if you have just a little experience in bashing i would still recommend you get the four-wheel drive um if you've only had two-wheel drive all your life i would recommend you go with the two-wheel drive but if you are um just brand new into the hobby you really want to race you really want to race but you do not know a good entry point and you don't know anything about traction I would 100% recommend a Traxxas slash rear fork with a brush system. With a brush system, it's crazy fast. But with the brush system, it's a bit more tame. You can drive it. And with the slash, with the high CG chassis, whatever, with just a good pair of tires, you don't even really need all this stuff. You just need a uh, good pair of tires. The stock is about $320 plus a good pair of tires. That's about $40. Sometimes the price goes up, sometimes the price goes down. Three hundred, sometimes go to three forty. We'll just say it's going to be three twenty. That's a good thing. It'll be about three hundred and sixty dollars stock with nothing else, and you can keep adding on whatever you want. So I would recommend you go for the four wheel drive if you have little experience. If you're getting back into the hobby, I'd go for the two wheel drive. But personally, I got in with the four wheel drive. This one I just race because it's cheap. Um, the four wheel drive is definitely the way to go. No offense, two-wheel drive, you're great, but that one, it can be fast, it can be slow, it can be controlled, it can be insane. So this one is definitely easier. You don't need to set up, you're perfectly fine. But just change out the springs, spring stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I made this video because I see a bunch of people getting in with like really expensive race kits and I see them crashing a lot. That's no, that's really not bad. You can get in with a race kit, it'll just cost extra. And um, one of my cousins was like, what's cheap so yeah it was a lot of fun making this video hope you enjoyed it and yeah bye i don't know how to do this by the way